I mean, nuts are rusty. Well, they're actually bolts, not nuts, but regardless of what kind of hardware they are, we're gonna use commonly found chemicals to be able to put a new finish on these guys. I know you've probably seen dozens of videos on online about using some sort of special order chemical solution to put a nice finish on bolts and whatnot, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. We're going to use some chemicals you can find just about anywhere. So let's get to it. All right, so the star of the show is going to be phosphoric acid, and this clean strip brand right here is about a 30% solution. I think supposedly it also has just a tiny amount of isopropyl alcohol in it too. But if you're in dairy country, you should check out your farm store for milkstone remover. That stuff is like 60% strength. But unfortunately, I'm in beef country, so we don't really have any of that down here. But this stuff right here, you can get just about anywhere. I picked this one up from Homeless Despot, but you can get it from Wally World too. I mean, it really is everywhere. Another thing I'm gonna use is Ace Tone. Just gonna use this to degrease and clean up the bolts before trying it in our solution. And something that is completely not necessary, but I'm gonna use because I'm impatient, is this little Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner. And I don't really think the ultrasonic part of it is going to do much to help this process, but what will help is the heat function. Because as I'm sure you're aware, anytime you add heat to a chemical reaction, it speeds it up. And I'm just impatient, so I'm going to use this thing. Totally not necessary. You could probably do this in, you know, just room temperature. It'll just take longer. I also want to try out two different things. First, I'm just going to put the bolt directly into the phosphoric acid and let it sit there for a long time, see what happens. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dissolve some of the steel wool in the phosphoric acid first, and that's going to make a high concentration of iron phosphate. Now, as the bolt sort of starts to dissolve itself, it should create iron phosphate in the solution by itself. So I'm wondering if this step is even going to be necessary, but we're going to test that out because it's really the iron phosphate that gives it that nice dark color that we're shooting for. And I got a couple other little accessories here, just a couple of containers to put things in, some plastic tongs for taking it in and out of the acid, some metal tongs for when I take it out of the ace tone. Brand new package of blue shop towels, just to make sure there's no contamination. And I also have some distilled water for washing things off. So I think probably the first thing that we should do is choose a couple of our bolts to just set aside and use as a control to compare against later. So I'm gonna throw these in a container and just set these over to the side. Now let's dunk these other two bolts into the acetone and get them all nice and clean. I'm gonna set this jar over into the ultrasonic cleaner and it's already nice and hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. Well, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. All right, this thing has been sitting in the acetone for about 10, 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and take it out. Oh yeah. They're drying off like instantly. All right, so I poured some straight metal prep there into that container. I'm gonna take one of these bolts. We can take a look and see how nasty it is. And I'm just gonna drop it right in. Let's put a lid on this guy and set it over into the nice warm ultrasonic cleaner. Oh, looks like our heater turned off. Let's turn that thing back on. Now, while this one is doing its thing, I'm gonna mix up some more of the phosphoric acid and then add a little bit of steel wool to it. Oh, actually, I should probably clean the steel wool and the acetone first, and then we'll add it into the, the metal prep solution. I took about half a pad of the steel wool, see how that's gonna work. And I'm just gonna sluice this around in the acetone a little bit. We wanna wash off whatever oils and grease might be on this thing. We don't want that contaminating the, uh, the iron phosphate solution that we're gonna make. If you're doing this, I hope you like the smell of acetone. It's lovely. And you know, I'm hesitant to just drop this uh, acetone-laden steel wool into that plastic container there. It's probably gonna start melting it. So I'm gonna just blot it off a little bit on the, on the paper towel. I would rinse it, but I'm actually kind of afraid it's gonna start rusting, so eh, I don't think I'm gonna rinse it. I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. All right, I've poured up more of the phosphoric acid into this container here, and let's just go ahead and dip this steel wool down in here. You can see it kind of starting to get foamy. Probably shouldn't be playing in the acid with the metal tongs. Let's rinse those things off. I've got the plastic tip tongs for that. All right, so I'm gonna get a lid on this guy too. And let's see if we have room in the ultrasonic to plop both of these guys in here. Although they're floating a little bit. 
should probably take some of that water out. I already got both containers sitting in here and we got the water level adjusted correctly for this thing now. Probably get the acetone out of the way, we don't need that anymore. We have our other bolt that we cleaned in the acetone sitting here waiting for the iron phosphate solution. Once we get that steel wool as dissolved as we can get it. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the ultrasonic. Couldn't hurt anything, right? Probably just make the reaction go faster. So let's hit it. All right, these guys have been soaking for about 45 minutes or so, so let's pull them out and see what we got. I think first we can take a look and see how the steel wool is doing. Oh yeah, it's pretty much dissolved. I'm actually wondering if we should try to dissolve a little bit more in there. The idea is to get as much iron dissolved into the, the phosphoric acid as possible so it's not stealing any iron from the, the part that you're trying to, to color. But we'll uh, just set that to the side for the moment. Uh, let's take a look at the bolt that's just been sitting in just the phosphoric acid. Well, that's kind of cool. You can see it kind of bubbling away in there, so you know it's eating up the rust, at least. Ah, that that kind of looks pretty good. Woo, it's a little, a little warm. Let's just set that over to the side for the moment. I think I'm gonna try and just rub this with the steel wool a little bit. Yeah, rubbing it down with the steel wool kind of helped clean it up some more. It looks pretty nice. This is about what I was going for actually. It's a real dark gray finish. You can see that it's cleaned up the threads a lot too. I mean, just take a look at, at this bolt in comparison. Oh, that's that's pretty crazy from just soaking for about 45 minutes or so. Wow. But yeah, polishing it up with the uh, steel wool. Man, it's looking pretty good. I'm wondering if it'll get just a little bit darker if I throw it back in the acid for just a little while longer. I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna throw it back in for like another 30, 45 minutes and see what happens. And you can see, as soon as you put it in there, it starts fizzing away again. I set it back in our, our hot bath. Now with this one, I think we should keep trying to dissolve more steel wool in there. I mean, that right there is all that's left of this one, <laughs> of what was in there before. So I think maybe I'll pull like half as much again. Maybe if I separate it out a little bit more, it'll dissolve in there faster. I don't know. It's definitely foaming up a lot, isn't it? All right, throwing that back in the hot bath. I think maybe I'll turn on the ultrasonic again. All right, it's been about another 30, 40 minutes been soaking, so let's take the bolt out and see how it looks. Eh, uh, you know, I don't know. Did it darken up a little bit more? I think it kind of looks about the same. Well, no, actually, now that it's hitting the air, I think it's darkening more. Let's give it a little wipe down, huh? Okay, you know what? That looks pretty darn good. And that was just from soaking just in the phosphoric acid for like what, like an hour and 15, maybe an hour and 20. And you know, the heat is probably helping it too. You know, this little ultrasonic guy, he's, it doesn't get up to boiling or anything like that. I'm not exactly sure what temperature it's at, but it definitely warms it up. I'm gonna get the surface of this thing like really dry. I think it's about as dry as it's gonna get. And now I have a little container of old oil I'm just gonna dunk this thing in. I'm gonna let it sit in the oil for a few hours. That black finish that it has should be, you know, quote unquote porous and ha let the oil like really stick to it. So I'm just gonna cover this up and set it to the side for a while. Now the phosphoric acid solution still looks pretty clean to me. I bet we could drop another bolt in there and see how it works. But I'm gonna save that for later because we need to see how the solution with the steel wool has been doing. You know, it's really giving off the aroma of, you know, metal and an acid. And it does look like more of the steel wool has dissolved. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up bits of steel wool and that's, this little bit right here is about all I can pick up. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the last little bit of this steel wool, maybe pull it apart just a little bit more and like shove that down in there. You can see it's starting to foam up again. As soon as we put that steel wool in there, it's definitely like foaming up. Well, I think I wanna let that actually dissolve overnight because I'm getting sleepy. So we'll let this dissolve as much as it can and we'll resume this experiment tomorrow by throwing this bolt into this solution and seeing what happens. All right, so it's been a little over 24 hours on this guy and you can see the steel wool is completely dissolved in there. Well, almost completely. I think there's like a little bit hanging on in there, but it's kind of interesting to see the color change in this guy too. Cause remember the full strength one is 
kind of like a bluish green color and this one's like almost clear like that dark stuff you see in there is the residue of the steel wool so hopefully that means that this is a really strong solution of iron phosphate now and what i think i want to do now is filter this out to get all the little particles out and then we'll drop this bolt in there and see what she do. Wow, I took the lid off of this guy and it smells very strongly of a metal acid reaction. If you if you guys know what that smell is like, I'm sure you do. Oh, and also want to make a note of, you know, always wear the proper PPE when you're working with chemicals like this. You don't want to splash on anything, you know, and damage your skin and whatnot. So I'm just going to use one of my blue shop towels as a filter here and strain it through a little colander. Who knows what the acid is doing to this uh, paper towel, but you know. Can you guys see that? All the little dissolved iron particles in there? They're definitely nice and black, so hopefully the bolt turns black too. It got a little foamy whenever I poured it through the filter here. Wonder if stirring it up kind of caused some more reactions? You know, I don't know. Who knows? But there we go. We have our liquid. Now let's take our other bolt here. And for reference, you can see how rusty it is up on the top. And let's drop this bad boy in there. You know, I don't know. I think maybe I already see it starting to change color a little bit. It does look like it's reacting, you know, it's fizzing a little bit. But let's uh, put it over in the hot bath in the ultrasonic, see if that speeds things up a bit. Oh, and while we're waiting on that to see how that does, let's check out the bolt that we did in just the pure phosphoric acid solution soaked in the motor oil. Let's fish this guy out. There it is. Wipe this thing off thoroughly. It's kind of interesting that motor oil kind of has a green tint to it, doesn't it? A little strange. But man, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty sweet? And that was just soaking just in the plain phosphoric acid for, I don't know, maybe it was like an hour or maybe an hour and a half. I can't remember exactly. But it has a really nice matte black finish to it. You know, this is kind of exactly what I was going for. I am kind of curious to see how the one that with the iron phosphate solution turns out. But, you know, I'm actually pretty impressed with just this right here. It really kind of seems like an unnecessary step. Well, we're going to find out. All right, so we've been soaking this guy in the iron phosphate solution for about an hour now. So let's pull it out and see how it looks. Um, yeah, it's definitely darkened up some. I don't know if it's gotten as dark as the one that was just in the pure phosphoric acid, though. One of the things I did with the other bolt, though, was burnish it really good with some steel wool and then throw it back in there for a little while longer. So let's do that with this guy and see if we see any difference. All right, let's pop this guy back in the iron phosphate solution. We'll give it another 30, 45 minutes or so in the hot bath and see what happens. All right, so I lost track of time just a little bit. I think this one's been in here for probably about two and a half hours total. Well, let's get her popped open and see what she looks like. And there's still a nice vigorous fizzing going on, so that's kind of interesting. Well, you know, probably looks about the same as the other one. Get it wiped down nicely here. All right, well, while it's still nice and warm, I'm going to plop it down in the, the oil bath here. And then I guess I'll just let that sit in the oil overnight and we'll check it again tomorrow. See how it compares to the other bolt. All right, so this bolt from the iron phosphate solution has been soaking in the oil overnight. Let's get this guy out of here. See what it looks like. Let's wipe this thing off good. Iron phosphate solution on the left and just phosphoric acid by itself on the right. You know, I don't think I can see any kind of difference. This one's just a little bit more shiny just because I just pulled it out of the oil. But man, like this just seems like a extra step that's not needed. You know, the point of this iron phosphate solution was supposed to be sort of like a, a cold bluing solution. I had found the recipe for it on, you know, some old Usenet post from somewhere. I can't even remember where. But it seems to be pointless. I think as the rust dissolves in the phosphoric acid I mean it, it creates its own iron phosphate and it's dissolving the rust at the same time converting the surface of the metal uh, you know it's just seems like it's not needed you don't need to dissolve extra iron in there the rust is the iron right so but yeah I don't know I I'm gonna call this a win I think this turned out really good and just so y'all remember this is our two two bolts that we had we left as controls. Look at that. Look how nasty those look compared to the phosphoric acid dipped one. So yeah, in conclusion, just get you some clean strip metal prep. This stuff works great. And it's like $18 for a gallon of it. You know, at, at least of the time of filming, I'm sure it's gonna go up more like everything else is going up. But yeah, you know, what can you do? But this one gallon, I mean, if you're just using it on rusty bolts and nuts, like this one gallon would probably do every fastener on your car. I already 
have some more bolts in the uh, little thing chooching away right now. You know, I don't think the ultrasonic was necessary at all, but I do think the heating function of this probably helped the reaction quite a bit. But I stuck this thermometer in here to show you that it doesn't actually get all that hot. That's just 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So you could easily, you know, just take your container and set it into a, a pot of water and it, you don't even need to boil the water. I mean, just get it kind of hot. But there you go. I mean, this actually is pretty simple. Just warm up some phosphoric acid and dip your bolts in and you get some great results. Well, be sure to subscribe to me if you aren't already so you don't miss any more good information like this. And give us a thumbs up too. It really helps the channel out. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.